What's going on guys? Andrew here with another installment of 2 Minute Tech, a segment where I do or talk about something techy in about 2 minutes. For today, I'll explain what screen tearing is and how you can prevent it. Screen tearing occurs most notably while playing games on the PC. It happens when graphics cards and the connected monitor fall out of sync with each other. The most common display of screen tearing is where the top portion of the monitor shows a different frame than the bottom. This can happen anywhere from once, twice, or even more times than that, like in these examples. Basically, your monitor has a maximum refresh rate. Most operate at about 60 Hz. Most games on the PC can be played at variable frame rates, which correlate to the refresh rate of your monitor. A monitor with a refresh rate of 60 Hz can change the frame it displays 60 times in a second. A game displaying 60 frames per second can render a new frame 60 times per second. But in reality, it may be more or less, unless the game you're playing allows you to cap your frames per second to a specific number. When the game you're playing decides to render frames at a higher rate than your monitor could keep up with, tearing occurs. Scenes with explosions or multiple moving objects are where you will see this phenomenon the most. There are, however, ways to remedy this issue. V-Sync or Vertical Sync stops the graphics card from displaying to the monitor until the monitor has finished its current refresh cycle. This can cause repeated frames, but will at least for the most part stop or reduce the screen tearing that we're hoping to avoid. Building upon Vertical Sync is Adaptive V-Sync which allows for monitors to only use the vertical sync when the frame rate of the game exceeds the monitor's refresh capability, which allows for even smoother gameplay. More advanced versions of Adaptive V-Sync include AMD's FreeSync or G-Sync from NVIDIA. These technologies actually adapt the monitor's refresh rate as the maximum refresh rate to prevent screen tearing outright. You won't really notice a difference while playing since the monitor was only capable of its max re refresh rate from the get-go. You will require a graphics card and a supported monitor for these technologies to work, so unfortunately, no mixing and matching. In short, buying a monitor with FreeSync for your AMD graphics or a G-Sync monitor for your NVIDIA graphics card will yield optimal results. Little secret for NVIDIA users, you can use a FreeSync display with your graphics card but it will only use the adaptive sync capabilities of the monitor, which is still better than nothing. Thanks for watching guys. I'll link some of the monitors down in the video's description with G-Sync or FreeSync. Give this video a like if you liked it, get subscribed if you don't want to miss any more. This was 2 Minute Tech, and I'm signing off.